is an invading force. Hello, everybody. So I just want to let you guys know that if the people inside of the city would open up. And do you believe that Jesus loves you and that he can perform a miracle to you? Maybe we can make it. And did you know that he loves you and cares about you? And you don't think you're going to make it when all of those Which is why you see he was a sacrifice on the cross of his crucifixion to go to the cross so we can have everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven. There's so much more love than that. Jesus is the only one who had the most love for every mankind on this earth. Doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what language you speak, what you did in your past. God loves you and he cares about you. Let me say it again. He loves, Jesus loves you and he cares about you. Don't ever think that he's let you down because he hasn't. He's been there for you. Don't let the devil get lies into you and say that God doesn't care about you. Do not let the devil tempt you into that. That's what he does, trying to get you to doubt and to do things you're not supposed to that God doesn't like. There's a battle between, a spiritual battle raging between the Lord and the devil, angels and demons. And let me tell you something, if you're, and we're caught in the middle. Whose side are you really on? Who do you really worship and pray to and serve? The Lord or the devil? You might want to think about that. If you read the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12 in the Bible says that we don't battle against mankind, but we battle against principalities of the, the spiritual darkness of the world. You know, and a part to play in that is Adam and Eve were involved in that because Adam and Eve, Adam gave the world to the wicked one, the devil. If you read the book of Genesis, they, they had a choice to make when it came to sin. Now, even though the devil tempted even to sin, she had a choice to make. Eat the fruit that God told, don't eat the fruit that God told not to eat or eat it and listen to the serpent. Yeah, snakes don't talk, but the devil was the snake. And she had a choice to make. Do what the devil wants or refuse to obey him and and not do what God told him not to do. It means if God tells you not to do it, don't do it. Because it's for your own good. Because if you do it, there'll be consequences. There's conse This shows you in the book of Genesis that there's consequences for your sin. And the consequences that Adam and Eve had to do was they get kicked out of the Garden of Eden and never be back. Today, the Garden of Eden still stands, but Adam and Eve are not in there because God kicked them out of the Garden of Eden. Does it remind you of a story? Does it remind you that of the one-third of the angels and the devil were kicked out of heaven because of sin? That's what sin would do. Sin is corrupted. And corruption cannot exist in the presence of God, no matter where he is. So you cannot be there if you're if he's there. Guys, when I went to heaven the other night in a vision, in a dream, I was not the same person that when I was on earth. I wasn't the same. I was I was saved. I, I was not completely saved, but I was I was a different person. So this is a picture of Hanoi. That didn't even seem like a person. I didn't look like a person. I didn't feel like a person. I was made like the angels were in heaven. That means like I wasn't, for instance, I wasn't an angel, but I was like the angels in heaven. The Bible says when you're saved and you go to heaven, you'll become like the angels. You won't become angels, but you'll be like the angels. The ones who are, the few who have been chosen, who have been saved and go to heaven. There's a lot more to it than that, but if you do what Jesus said, it'll be fine. That's all I have to say, guys. And if you don't believe me, go check out my heaven testimony.